Alrighty, I hope everybody's doing fine. My name is Gerda. I'm going to show you guys how to use the um, armhole French curve. Okay, I have all my French curves on this side around me. So whenever I'm doing any pattern, I always have to have always my curve rulers around. So that way everything is nearly and good to go. Now. Today I'm going to use, demonstrate how to, you know, fix the shape, reshape the side princess front bodice. This is the, the front, this is the front bodice. All, if you put them together, it's all one. But since I'm doing a, a princess seam bodice, so I went ahead and drape it on the mannequin drape the side first. I have a v-neck in case I need uh, a v-neck and then I drape the side front and I'm gonna I trace it on paper and I'm gonna show it to you on the uh, on mannequin. This is this is the shape that I'm talking about. This is the center front and this is the uh, princess seam where you actually connect the center front to the side front. And this is the side seams, and this is the sleeve, this is the uh, uh, armhole, and so forth. And this is a nice scoop v-neck down there. Okay, now those are the two pieces divided in two. Okay, so I'm going to put them aside. I've already traced, this is the one that I don't really like the shape of this from cutting it, and I'm, I'm redoing it. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the fringe the um, armhole cur curve and some other uh, uh, French curve rulers. Okay, first of all, I'm going to retrace it with white pencil. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, my pencil is driving me crazy right now. It's okay. Work with me, my love. Work with me. Okay, perfect. So I'm, I'm using... Now remember, I'm making corrections, so I'm going to remove like a quarter of an inch around, so I even al already give it a, some dotted lines. So I'm going to add whatever I'm moving, removing, I'm going to put some dotted lines, so that way I'll know what I'm doing. So here, see, now by placing it, so it kind of gives it a much better line, see? like this and I go all the way around follow the curve this is it nicely see it falls right with the shape of the ruler for the side seam I'm going to use my see-through ruler which is a slight a slanted line which is a straight slanted line so I just use my um, straight line ruler and call it the day. Now for the waistline, it's slightly curved so I can use my hip curve and follow the line which is kind of good. Now I notice on this line it's a little bit wide so I'm going to go from nothing I just want to remove a little bit of that so by having it on the white paper I'm going to do the same thing too by following my line so I'm going to go see this is my notch I'm going to go in a quarter of an inch just kind of go straight down so that way it has a nicely a much nicer curve in this part a little bit of curve so I'm going to use my ruler the hip, not the hip curve, the uh, armhole ruler. I'm going to use my white pencil. See, it's nice to give now. I'm going to, I want to add maybe like an eighth of an inch just to give it a little bit more of a rounded shape. Not too much. See, nice and curvy. And I'm going to follow 
this is my second notch this is the uh, apex notch which is the uh, this is where your nipple is situated okay so now I'm seeing a nice curve right now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the, the hip curve again kind of go around just follow see I gotta follow going in a little bit like I said I wanted to take like an eighth of an inch just to give it a much better shape and going all the way down be on the safe side I can actually use, let's see so you can always use no you can't use this one but this one is much better you just that's why it's always good to have most of the rulers with you all around so see it kind of rounded it goes in a little bit now I may even want to go in just a tiny bit because so it can have a nicer fit around the waistline okay so if I place this on top you can actually see this is the um, the what I added and this is what I removed okay now this does not have any seam allowance yet so since I don't have enough when I fold it, when I trace it on the paper, I didn't leave enough room for seam allowance on the side, so I have to remove the uh, the staples and place them again, which is not a problem. So that way I can add a little bit of more room, making sure I have enough on this side for my seam allowance I'm going to staple it again making sure everything is good okay now I'm going to add my seam allowance which is going to be a quarter I'm sorry not a quarter half an inch all around the way you do that especially when you're dealing with curves I'm going to use my feet through ruler and I'm going to add half an inch all around following the curve following my curve okay nice and easy following going all the way in so I'm going from down go down and at the waistline also half an inch and this is I can use the see through ruler since it's a straight slanted line I don't have to do dotted lines I can just place the ruler on top and draw a straight line down I'm going to do the same thing for the armhole since it's curved I'm going to place some dotted lines around it and here you go all the way up that way I have more room and this is what you have right now see this is the actual pattern and then seam allowance are all around it One, I'm going to use the same rulers again and I'm going to connect all the dotted lines all around the pattern okay and just connecting all the dotted lines connecting all the dotted lines by using the right ruler to connect all the dotted lines okay there you go and once you're done with that go ahead and cut the excess of paper inside so that way you don't add any excess any extra inches 
on your pattern. Follow your line, follow the curve. Don't be afraid and don't do it in a rush because you don't want to You don't want to cut something that, that you're not supposed to and then for you to for you to uh, uh, redo it again. Okay, I'm just going to cut around it. Okay. There you go. This is it. This is your pattern. Now you see, I love the curve right now. This is it compared to this curve. Okay, so now I feel much better. It looks a whole lot better. And then after that, you're going to uh, place all your notches and call it the day. It's going, you're going to do a notch here, a notch there at the apex, a notch there, a notch for the armhole and so forth and seam allowances you're gonna notch everywhere wherever they need to be notched and then you're gonna label it on the side uh, at the center line okay and you just draw a straight line for the grain line of the fabric because you want to cut it the right way and you just place all the writing and so forth I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please uh, leave. Uh, I love to read comments. Whatever you, uh, if you need to know anything else, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed and and stay safe. Until next time.